Hello guys and welcome to episode number 7 of Project Paphos. First of all, thank you very much for watching and before we get into the save, I just want to say thank you for entering into the first ever competition as well. So we had 13 entries, which is not a lot, but we had 13 entries and the winner was Matthew. As simple as that, Matthew. Now if you look in the YouTube comments, there's a guy called Matthew and I'm going to uh, get in contact with him and also send him the shirt wherever he is in the world. So well done Matthew. We actually did the live draw yesterday on my Twitch channel. So you can go to the Twitch channel which is a little link uh, below and you can see uh, see the live draw basically which was at the beginning of last night's stream. So guys as you can as you can see we're going to go straight into the save. We've got two games coming up today. We've got an away league game against Applewell and then we've got a Coca-Cola Cup game uh, coming up against Alki. Now with this Applewell game is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Even though the Applewell have not really started the season well, they're currently 10th at the minute. And as you can see, we are in fourth position. But I'm just going to quickly go through just a bit of an update, really. So, of course, we're in fourth position. We're doing really well at the minute. We've got 22 points out of 11 games, which is really good. Uh, we're only six points behind that first spot as well, which is Limassol at the minute. Of course, our top goal scorer at the minute is uh, at Burn Murphy. We have Stefan Panic. Uh, who is our highest average rater, rated player at the minute, which is, uh, that's not changed. Our most assist has not changed as well in Navarone 4. Um, Stefan Panic with best pass completion. Most man of the matches, there's eight players in total um, with, with man of the matches, so they've all got one each. Um, most yellow cards is uh, Jao Aurelio, um, who's actually just come back from suspension now. And obviously most red cards, we've only had one red card, which is Omni Velikari. Um So yeah, guys, we're going to go straight into this first game against Applewell. Tough game, uh, but first of all, let's go to the, the tactics and let's see how we get on. So guys, these are the tactics we are going in this Applewell game against. And I've changed it up again a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus down the right hand side. I'm going to go really positive in this game because they are currently 10th at the minute. I know we're playing away, but I'm going to give it like the first 20, 25 minutes just to see how we go against them. But as you can see, I am kind of focusing more on that right hand side. So Edmund Murphy does like playing smack bang in the middle. That is his best position. So what I've done is I've put Dennis Rakos kind of, kind of like a pressing forward as well, but slight on that right hand side to help out with Berrigade as well on that right hand side. We could put Velikari on the left now. We're punching him four in the centre. Uh, we've got Velarinas on the left, Aurelio on the on the right of uh, defence. Uh, both full back attackers as well, which is good. So we are going with quite an attacking side here. Um, so yeah, uh, just to go through the tactics as well, I'm going to play pretty narrow in regards to width. Uh, even though we have got a uh, Velikari up there, we're going to focus on that right hand side. Like I said, our sh passing directness is going to be shorter. We're going to run at defence. We're going to be a little bit more disciplined while we're running at that defence. Um, we're all going to distribute from the centre backs. We're going to regroup when we've lost that possession. And we're going to count up when we have won that possession. Of course, we want to kind of press them as much as possible. And when it comes to the defensive line, we kind of, what I've done is I've bunched, of, bunched us all together really in the middle just to work together, work together, trying to get into that box. Uh, and then obviously we're getting stuck in. I'm not going to play the offside trap. So guys, let's get to this first game against Applewell. We have got, um, I'm just going to pause it there in a minute. We have got Punchin as uh, as the captain. Right, so we have, uh, as I've changed the skin, there's obviously a lot of differences here. So we've got uh, latest scores here. We've got league table there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put action, action zone, which is, uh, where are we at? I'm going to put action zones here just so I can see. I'm just going to look at the XG. In fact, I'm going to look at the XG storer, which is much better. That should that should hopefully change um, in a minute when, when the visualizations. I always like to see the opposition's uh, formation as well, just in case they change it. So I need to change it. Um, and also, I am going to put in... Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? I'm going to put in... a visualizer, just to see where the focus is down... down down the uh, on on each flank really see where they see where it's happening the attacking so anyway guys as you can see uh let's play this game let's so we're two minutes in already actually and here we go first i like going to applewell here they've got an injured player already so keep an eye on this gets knocked in and it's just a glancing header wide there from applewell four minutes in okay a little uh, little focus little focus shout going out eight minutes in already Everyone seems okay at the minute. Miguel here for Applewell. And size picks it up. Here's Navarone for Arajore. Here's Raykel. Raykel's inside to Hepburn Murphy. Hepburn Murphy back inside. Tries to pull it back there to Velikara. Uh, it doesn't actually happen though. Here's Azure. Azure to Aurelio. Here's Berrigade. Berrigade. Berrigade tries to play it inside. Doesn't happen. 
just going to turn it down slightly to turn the match highlight speed down slightly Atzil picks it up for Apoelli down to the left hand side Nagala, Nagala scores what a lovely goal that is from Nagala um, too easy too easy to be honest that. too easy we're just going to go to balance a minute just try and get that focus back a little bit uh, I'm going to take the highlights off for their, their replays as well ok 21 minutes in nothing's really happening mate. I'm going to do a little demand more shout um, what I'm also going to do I'm just going to go really short on the passing just reduce that tempo slightly try and bring it down to our tempo if we can Thirty-four minutes in now. Little encouraged shout going out. Come on, boys. Vicente, Vicente whips it in, and it's away by Aurelio. Jensen picks it up. McGlory, McGlory, and Vicente, and Gala, the goal scorer for Apoel, going right across the field, tries to whip one in. Rod calls it clearly covered there. Let's it go. Okay, as you can see, guys, there's a lot of uh, it's a lot in the middle at the minute. The focus is a lot in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go try and push it out wide a little bit. Let's bring the overlappers in. We'll still focus down that right hand side, but we'll bring the overlappers in, uh, and let's let's go a little bit short and I'll let's up that tempo slightly. Okay. 1-0 at half time. As you can see, it's a bit of a poor game from us guys. As you can see, a 0.41 XG. But they've only got a 0.68 just because they've only had two shots on target out of their 10. Um, 47 to 53% possession. So we're going to try and gain that back now. And as you can see with the XG story, we've never really been with them uh, from the start. So it's going to be a bit of a bit of a unhappy dressing room this in a minute. I'm not going to throw the bottle. I'm going to be I'm going to be trashy arms. Uh, mm, should I be trashy arms? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna be hands together and I just expect to see much better. So I am gonna go with what the assistant is saying basically, um, and I'm gonna. There's a lot more to come from you. There's a lot more to come, without a doubt. Right, come on. So uh, most of them seems motivated. Hepburn Murphy is slightly demotivated. So the the potential that he might be coming off because he is playing a six point three at the minute. So we'll give him another ten minutes, and then we'll probably bring Hepburn Murphy off. Is it Noya? Oof, that's unlucky. I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to just have a look at the opposition tactics and we also need to press on tight mark on uh, Nangala and also uh, need to show, go a little bit, because he, he's injured, go a little bit harder on a uh, bit, bit naughty, but we're going to go a little bit harder and put him on his weaker foot on uh, Vicente. Okay, nothing, nothing too much at the minute is happening here. Here's Navarone four, four into Rakel, Rakel to Berrigade, Berrigade. Can he play it down the line? No, he plays it back into four, four out to Aurelio. Aurelio, can he find? He does. He finds him in. It comes into Velikari. Oh, unlucky Velikari at the back post. There, he had two players marking him as well. Here's Atzil, Atzil for Apoel. Can we get stuck in a little bit more here? I think it is that cent it's that central midfielder where we're kind of getting dominated. It's where all the battle is, as you can see on the visualizer anyway. Let's hopefully nothing happens here and we can um, put a bit more in that midfield than it is, and I'm afraid it's Mike Jensen. Mike Jensen for Applewell makes it 2 0 for the home side. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to a positive. We're gonna go to attacking. Uh, but what we're gonna do? We're gonna put Rakels up top. We're gonna bring four in the center. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring Velikare in the AMC role. We're gonna bring Kusik on, or is Kusik as an inverted forward? We will also put not as an inverted forward because he is a uh, he is right footed. So we're gonna put him as an attacking winger, Berrigade. Um, 
I think I think we're fine here. I think everything else is actually not too bad at the minute, to be honest. Work the ball into the box still. Everything's fine there. Let's just put a little bit more uh, direction on the ball. Everything else is fine. Let's just uh, let's use tight marking maybe. Let's push them up a little bit. Spaced out slightly. Right, come on now. Let's uh, let's crack on. So we brought Oritz Kusick on for Edburn Murphy, but changed the formation around completely. So we've just we've just showed up that midfield a little bit as an AMC. And hopefully now that's going to help out that midfield a lot more. Here's Berrigade. Berrigade with Aurelio next to him. But he's going all the, all the way here. Can he pass it back to Aurelio or is he going to cross it in? He does pass it back to Aurelio. Aurelio whips it in. He gets nodded away. Punching to pick it up, hopefully. And he doesn't. He should really be picking it up, punching. We should really be doing a lot better as well against a side that is currently 10th at the minute. Here's punching. Punching in the middle. 65 minutes in here. Can we bring this back? Here's Villarenos. Villarenos into Kusik. Can he pass it into Rakels? Villarenos. Kusik comes into a Navarro 4. What a goal that is. He loves scoring them goals, Navarro 4. Eh? Get in there, you little beauty. Great, great play there from Punching and Kusik. Villarenos into Kusik. Kusik waited and waited. Found 4 at the outside. Passes it back. 4 unmarked. What a goal that is from Navarro 4. Eh? What a goal. Navarone 4, sorry. I don't know why I kept saying that. Navarone 4. Absolutely fantastic. The tactics seem to be changing now. The tactics seem to be working. Free kick here. It's punching with a free kick. They are saying bring punching off. Punching with a free kick and it's just over. Miguel with a great save. An absolute fantastic save there from Apple's goalkeeper. Velreinos whips it in and it gets knocked away. Can we pick it up here? We've got enough there. We have got enough. And Gala. And Gala well away there from Aurelio. Little shout out going, little encouraged shout going out. 72 minutes in. As you can see, guys, we have picked it up now. The XG is still roughly the same at the minute. Let's have a quick look at the XG actually. Oh no, we are now actually getting back up with the XG. So we need we we're doing good. We're doing good. Can we I'm not gonna go very attacking yet. Um I'm not I can't really do that yet. Um, I'm just going to go a little bit narrow. In fact, I'm going to go completely wider, actually. Completely wider. Up the tempo. Go extremely high on that. Which, which is going to kill the intensity, don't get me wrong. But I think that we've got we've got two more substitutes to do, which we're going to make. So uh, we're going to make the uh, Zay Carlos one for four. Uh, and we're going to uh, do the Berrigade one. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do... Uh, Sam Hutchinson is going to play in centre midfield. So we're going to go Zay Carlos on the right. Sam Hutchinson... DMC, punching in the middle, ball winning midfielder, Zay Carlos, Zay Carlos a bit back maybe, Zay Carlos is an attacking midfield, right, let's see if we can do something here guys, come on, come on, yellow card for Villarenos as well. Come on, let's see if we can do something here. 80, 88th minute. Come on, very attacking. Uh, little demand more shout going out. Everything is just extremely high now. Everything is just get get into the box. Counter press, get into the box. Let's see if we can... It's a do or die basis here. Do or die basis to get a point. We have dropped down to fifth at the minute. We've got four minutes to go. Can we nick this ball there? Can we nick this ball? We should really go two up top when we're playing very attacking, but... We have got a lot of attacking players in that midfield, so hopefully it works, but it might not. It might go the opposite way. Can we nick that ball? That's a great shot. It's a great shot. It's a great save there from Rodko. It looks like it is going to be a defeat here against Applewell. A good side, don't get me wrong. A good side, Applewell. Away. And it is away. Velikari picks it up. Come on, please. Give us a highlight, please. Come on, Velikari. Velikari into Rakels. Rakels. Rakels, Rakels, come on, inside. Oh, Rakels. Rakels, I thought Rakels was going to do some magic there in the last seconds of the game. Can we nick the ball, guys? Come on. It's not looking likely. It's not looking likely. Camelo, Camelo size there, picks up. He just needs to go route one, route one. Big, big, big size. He does go slightly big. It's Kusik, Kusik inside to Rakels, Rakels to Velikari. 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 Penalty? No? Oh, God, I was getting a bit lucky there then. Getting a bit... Uh... Oh, that's it, guys. Unfortunately, it's a defeat to Applewell. Uh, away, don't get me wrong. It's uh, it's not a, 
it's not like the worst result in the world. Obviously, it's a defeat, but um, good game, a good game. We actually started to come back, as you can see. Uh, in the first half, we did quite bad in regards to stats, but in the second half, as you can see, we well, can't see actually with my head, but um, we had 10 shots uh, in the end with six on target. They had six on target as well out of 16. XG was similar as well, 1.04 against 1.06 of theirs. Um, possession, 48 to 52, so we just upped it by a couple on that possession. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, it is a defeat, um, but we're going to go into this Coca-Cola Cup game now against Elke, and we're going to see if we can get a W on this uh, episode. That'll be pretty good if we can just to show you as well guys that we have been drawn if we do get through against Alki in a two-legged tie we do then play either Femgusta or Apoel so yeah just thought I'd let you know about that cup draw just before we go into this cup game now against Alki okay guys this is the side we are going in against Alka with and I've changed it up again uh, you know, like changes. So Kusik comes straight back in. Or is Kusik every time he's come on, or every time he's played, he's played fantastic. It's probably a solid position for him on that left hand side. So yeah, I think Kusik definitely straight back in without a doubt. Also, as you can see, I brought Dennis Rakels off. I've also rest Edburn Murphy as well. Put Edburn Murphy on a three day rest as well, uh, just because he's a bit fatigued. He's a bit. He, he hasn't got that match sharpness yet, and I should really be playing him, but I'm not. Uh, I've just given it. a because it's a cup game as well, I'm giving a couple of other guys uh, a go here. So as you can see, uh, Marcelo Torres is in now up top with Berrigade. Berrigade is a supporting defensive left, uh, defensive forward. Uh, and then also as well, uh, Felix Tau as well is in the centre with Punchin. Again, I'm just changing up a little bit, bringing players into play. Um, but we do need to win this game, of course. So uh, we're going to go in here. We are at home. Um, we're going to go in there positive as well. We know that Torres and Felix Tau are lacking that match sharpness. Let's go to the briefing. Everyone seems happy. Most a few concerns, but everyone else seems to be quite happy. But as you can see, there is four changes in total from the last game. Um, so we're going to see how we go. We're going to see how we get into this side. Um, everything seems fine. Let's let's. We're favourites here. We're certainly favourites without a doubt. So we need to uh, we need to pick this game up and we need to get a W here on the board. You face a home first match against a team you would consider favourable opposition without a doubt. Are you confident in getting a positive result? Without a doubt, I'm confident. I'm always, always confident with my team, always. You've chosen Navarone for it out of the starting 11. With his place going to somebody else, are therefore quite? Are, are you therefore quite as an interest of competition in some other area with some others? Yeah, without a doubt. I think Navarone is a very good player, but it's always, always good to have a bit of competition there as well. But it is a cup game against Halkir, so listen, we, we, we're just changing up a little bit. We, we're just seeing how things go. Here's Aurelio here with a throw, with a throw in. Throws it long into Camelo size. Camelo size. It goes straight at the back. It's punching, but it is disallowed. It was me punching the air for punching, and it was disallowed. He was offside. The flick on, obviously, the flick on from Camelo size does it actually not punching? Actually, he was offside. It was actually Berrigade, Is that? I think that was Berrigade who was offside there. Is Oris Kusik with a free kick whips it in. Oris Kusik at the back post in. It's Polos Orageri, Captain Orageri, gets in there. One nil to Paphos early on. This could be a big result. This the fans are expecting a big result as well. So we will see. We will see. Lily save for Alke. He whips it in. It's oh, it's a great save. It's an absolute fantastic save from Rudko. What a save. Okay, so we are we are dominating. We are dominating slightly. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio with a corner. Whips it in. And it's a penalty, guys. It is a penalty. Get in there. And it should be Kevin Berrigate to take it. It is Kevin Berrigate to take it. And it's 2-0 Paphos. Get in there. Like I said, guys, this is, a, this is a game that really we should be winning without a doubt. And we're on course for doing that. We are on course for doing that. We will see. As you can see, we are dominating at home here. Great tackle there from Philip Tau. That was a great tackle. <gasps> Felix Tau only just coming to the side, guys, and it is a red card for Felix Tau. That must have been a dirty challenge. It didn't. It didn't look bad on the match engine, but listen, we have now got something to do. Uh, so very good. We're gonna have to go. We're not gonna go too defensively. Uh, Punchin's gonna have to do an absolute amazing job in the centre now. Uh, we are gonna go AM supporting for Berrigade. Torres is gonna go up top. We could go strikeless. I'm going to stay po uh, positive for a minute. I'm just going to keep it kind of how it is. You know, we're, not, we're only 20 minutes in, but we're 2 nil up, luckily. I'm a bit good about Felix Tau there uh, getting a red card. That is absolutely shocking. That is like well against play, really, isn't it? We was absolutely dominating, well against play. 
Um, a little focus shout going out. There's no reason why we can't actually score more with the guy with the ten players that we have got in. To be fair, is Villarreal. Villarreal back to Kusik. It's all about the second half, really, where we need to get these goals in now, uh, just before half time, so we've got that comfort in the second half when we probably get a little bit fatigued because we are down to ten men. Here's punching, punching, trying to find that space. Arajori over the top, and it gets nodded away. Punching there, doing an absolute amazing job there, getting back, and he does a great job, which uh, makes a mistake from Alke. Brings in Torres to Berrigade. Berrigade finds out Aurelio. 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 Can he find someone? He does. He finds it back to Zay Carlos. Get in there, Zay Carlos. The first goal of the season for Zay Carlos. Get in there. That It takes him off his mark for Pathos. Zay Carlos, the signing, uh, one of our new signings, gets in there. Great little ball there from Aurelio as well. Pulls it back to Zay Carlos. Lovely little pull back there. Unmarked, keeper had no chance, 3 0 Pathos. This is what I mean, guys, about didn't really change it up too much. All we did is put Berry Gade in that AMC role, supporting Torres, and we're absolutely dominating it. We, the, again, it's a game that really we should be winning, even with 10 men, to be fair, so it is what it is. It is Velarinos, but that is obviously the second second red card uh, of the season for Pathos, which is not too bad in a league like this as well, where there's a lot of fouls. It is punching. Punching. Camelo, Camelo size picks it up. Inside to Punchin's playing an absolutely fantastic game, Punchin. He's only seven, but every highlight we've seen him is he's kind of the focal point in that midfield. Here's Berrigay. Berrigay to Punchin. Punchin inside to Velarenos. Velarenos with the shot. Something to date. Carlos. Wow, guys. It is 4 0 Pathos and two goals from Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos has scored his first and second goal for, uh, for Pathos in the same game. Get in there. Absolutely fantastic. That focus shout has just gone out, so you're probably going to see a lot of, or not unhappy faces, but just confused faces, because it was at 2-0 when I said focus. Now it's at 4-0, where I really should be praising them, to be fair. And it is going to be, an, it's going to be a massive praise here at half-time. As you can see, 13 shots, 8 on target, absolutely dominating this game, uh, even with 10 men. Obviously disappointed at Felix Tower, without a doubt, but um, it is what it is. Uh, I'm delighted with the performance, guys. Absolutely delighted. Everyone seems happy. Absolutely delighted. Um, where is Felix Tau? Yeah, obviously not too happy about Felix Tau, to be fair. Um, but why can't I click Felix Tau there? Oh, where are they? That's strange. Why can't I? Maybe because I've already done the midfield. But anyway, absolutely fantastic. Delighted. Absolutely delighted. Uh, Oris Kusic seems a little bit demotivated, which is strange because he's, absolutely, he's playing a blinder. Um, but yeah, Torres is but probably Torres is the only one under a seven rating actually. So guys, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we are going to stay positive. We might as well. We're four 0 up. Uh, there's nothing really to worry about as we speak. They're obviously going to come out in the second half and do a little bit, try and do a little bit of damage on us. But we will, we will obviously counter for that. We've got a lot of substitutes still, um, and we'll we'll just stay positive for a minute. Try and if we get that fifth goal, it is more or less game over. Weeks here with a shot, and that is a poor, that is poor goalkeeping. Poor goalkeeping. Feel weeks for Alke scores his fourth goal of the season, but that is that is just clearly a mistake from Rudko there. Clearly a mistake from Rudko. Okay, a little encouraged shout going out. Here's Velarinos with a corner, gets whipped in and gets nodded away. Aurelio picks it up. You see that corner then? That corner. I'm just going to quickly show you this, guys. That corner. There was just one at the back there. Don't, that shouldn't be the case. So if we're attacking, we should have two at the back. Even left and right, we should have two at the back. Even three, really. So why was... Very strange why that was... Um, why there's only one there on that corner. Here's Camille side. Maybe because I'm in a positive uh, mode at the minute and I didn't, I've, I've done that in the routine. But here's punching. Punching into Camille size. Mellow size back to Arajore. Uh, Arajore into punching. Arajore over the top gets nodded away. Oh, we're solid. We are so solid at the back there with them two central defenders at the minute. Size and Arajore. We, we might bring Arajore off in a minute actually. Is Zay Carlos for his hat trick? Can he? Can he? Zay Carlos there uh, just over the bar, guys. 52 minutes in. I think we will do that Arajore change just because we don't want another red card. That would be uh, quite devastating to be fair. Asher Williams coming on. Uh, 
64 minutes in. Again, we dominated 22 shots, 12 on target, XG of 2.9. It it looking rosy in the garden. 55% possession, 56% possession now. Uh, 91 passes, 91% passes complete as well. Absolutely fantastic. We are dominating this game, which we should be. We should be dominating. There's no doubt about it. But we're dominating with 10 men. That's that's the, the good thing about it as well. Let's uh, bring Jack Vale on as well for Marcelo Torres. Great tackle there from Aurelio. Who's on the yellow card, so we've just got to be careful. Here's Aurelio. Aurelio finds, tries to find Marcelo Torres. He doesn't. Kusik into Torres. Good football list. Here's Berrigade. Berrigade. Pass it back to Villarenos. Villarenos. Over to Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos. Play, playing absolute blind as Zay Carlos today. He's going to be man of the match, surely. He's on a 7.7 .7 at the minute. Zay Carlos whips it in. Comes into Kusik. Can Berrigay get it? He can't. Can Punchin get back? With, oh, Punchin has played absolutely fantastic on every highlight. Uh, Punchin. It's a 7.6 as well. We are going to make a Punchin change though because he is... He's, very, very fatigued. So it is going to be uh, Brian Angulo. And this looks like it's going to be a lovely first uh, first leg winner. It's Velarenos. Velarenos with the throw in. Comes into Jack Vale. Great keeping there from uh, Kaleva for Alke. Here's Cushion. Like Punchin, but Cushion. Here's Angulo, Angulo can Zay Carlos. Zay Carlos, absolutely fantastic. 7.7. .7. Probably going to be man of the match. Unless one of the defenders score because a couple of them are on 7 7 as well. Here's Kusik. Or is Kusik, absolutely fantastic player. But he loses the ball actually. That's a kind of a commentator's cursor. Here's Camelo Saez, Angulo, Kusik. Kusik. Can he get a shot off? I have told him to shoot more often, and he does! I've put a special request into uh, special request, a special instruction to shoot more often on Oris Kusik. But that is looking like the win, guys. That is looking like a lovely 4 1 win there in the first round of the Coca Cola Cup. Get in there, guys. Absolutely happy days with that. 28 shots, 14 on target. Absolutely dominated that game. Uh, we, even with the 10 men, we actually lost. Uh, we actually lost uh, Felix Tau in 19 minutes. So we've done very well there to uh, keep that result with the 10 men. Very happy with that result, guys. Very happy with that result. Well done. Um, so what that does, guys, like I said, it is, is only the first round cup game. That What I will say, guys, is first of all, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you don't mind, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, you don't have to, but it just gives you a bit of a notification to tell you next time when I am on. Um, also, as well, there is going to be a new prize on Friday's episode as well. But... Make sure you watch that episode because it's going to be a pretty good prize again. It's going to, it might be another shirt. You never know. You know, I don't even know what it's going to be yet, but it's going to be a pretty good prize. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next episode. Take care.